What's up guys, Aldo here. The World Economic Forum wants you to eat bugs to save the planet, so I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard to ask people if they're on board and if they're willing to put their money where their mouth is. It's gonna be a good one, let's do it. The World Economic Forum, these other global institutions, are pushing for bug-based diets as an alternative to meat because they say it'll help curb climate change and help the environment. What do you think about that? I've tried bugs before, mainly like chocolate-covered bugs. I guess I'll have to try it. They taste good? You like the chocolate-covered ones? They've got a nice crunch to them. Okay. Yeah. I guess a bug technically is protein, and as long as you don't tell me what it is before I eat it, I think I'd be okay. What do you think about a bug-based diet? Oh, I don't think that's healthy. No? No. <laughs> I'm all for new diets if it's natural and healthy. If you want to go all bugs, yeah, do it. If you really want to do it, do it, and then see if it works. <laughs> I'm not feeling great about that. Just the word, bug-based diets, makes me kind of think of locusts grasshoppers. It could be a, a lot of other cultures do eat bugs. I've had crickets and ice cream before and it didn't, you know, it was okay. Depending on the taste. I mean, if it tastes good, I'll eat it. Yeah. So I'd give it a try. Yeah. I would try it if it's like, this is going to help. This is actually going to help, you yeah. know, but if I'm just eating bugs for no good reason, I won't. Would you be willing to eat bugs if our government told you that it would help the environment? No. <laughs> I don't think I would, no. Why not? Uh, Do you not care about the environment? Mentally, I can't get past. What if you didn't know? I'm eating, you know, I'm eating ants, I'm eating bees. Like, I, I just can't get past that. Yeah, I would. Okay. Would you? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, yeah. If it, if it really made a difference, yeah, I'd try it. I am so glad you said that because we actually have some crickets right here and we have uh, bread that was baked this morning using crickets. So I'm going to bring this over here real quick. Would you be willing to try it? All right, let's see. I'll try it. Yeah? Yeah, I'll try it. I have some crickets here with me behind me. Oh. What do you think of? What do you think about when you see this and yeah, think that the no government wants to put this in your food? I can't do it. I can't do it. No, what do you think? I'm against seeing them alive first. <laughs> these crickets were used in making it in the flour. Mm -hmm. How do these crickets look to you? Not too tasty. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know if this is for me, personally. No, we're, um, we're maybe for it. some people. We're gonna try Not for it. me. Fresh crickets this morning. What do we think? Tastes pretty normal to me, actually. Yeah? Nice flavor to it. It'd be probably better if I didn't know. <laughs> How's that crunch? Do you, do you taste the crunch? It doesn't bother me, guys. Wait, can I have the last bite? They're not, they're not bad. What do you think? I like them. <laughs> Tastes like banana bread. Was there any crunch in there? Mm-hmm. How was the crickets? Oh. Do you think this should be something that the government starts implementing, or should this just be a choice that they give us, or a recommendation, I should say? I mean, I think it should definitely be a recommendation. Ultimately, it's up to people, you know? Like, if you want to make that choice, like we just made to eat crickets, more power to you. But if you don't, like, I'm not going to force that on you. I think the government could recommend well, they could eating recommend. bugs, and, and I and could decide what to do with And maybe produce that. something that was palatable, and like a suggestion, an invitation. Yeah. Do you think forcing it and not labeling it is going too far? Well, yeah. yes. That's yeah. like, I mean, the FDA has got to let us know what's going on, you know. So if they didn't label it and it's they started putting it all of our food, then you'd be okay with that? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't really notice, so. And if it saved the environment, then sure. You think the government should be the one dictating this, though? Oh, no. No. I think it's all about personal opinion, what you want to do, what you want to eat with your body, and what and you want to put into it. And what you think is good it. for you. Yeah. Just so like maybe keep the off. government out of it. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be easier to get people to come to a party if you were selling cricket burgers or beef burgers? I mean, that would be... Beef burgers, come on, come on. That would be when I, I, I wouldn't tell them that there was crickets in it until afterwards. You'd be like, that was a good burger, right, guys? Like, <laughs> Kind of like how I just gave you banana bread and said there were crickets in it, but there weren't? There wondering. weren't crickets in it? I was no. like, that oh, like crickets. Dude. <laughs> I, oh, dude. I, I hate that. I was like, I was really proud of myself. And listen, by the way, there weren't any crickets in that. It was? Yeah. <laughs> We wanted it. We were trying to see if people put their money where their mouth is. So you did it. Well, guys, that's a wrap. Are you going to eat the bugs or are you sticking with meat? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make sure to follow me and PragerU on all social medias. And if you haven't done so already, go to the App Store and download the PragerU app so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. You know, say what you will about crickets, you guys, but nothing beats a beef burger. So good. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I appreciate your support.